Let's start the show with the sad news that we've lost another great Sir Michael Parkinson. The 88-year-old's career spans seven decades. His family have released a statement saying after a brief illness, Sir Michael Parkinson passed away peacefully at home last night in the company of his family. The family requests that they are given privacy and time to grieve. Let's take a minute now and enjoy Parky laughing himself silly with the late, great Barry Ham Humphreys. Beautiful. Good luck here. <laughs> and hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Images. <laughs> Images. Oh, sorry, Mike. What is it? I've got in my hands. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ointment I'm supposed to use. <laughs> I was just giving myself a quick application before the show. <laughs> I'm supposed to use an applicator, but I generally do. <laughs> no worries. So, uh, yeah. Now, let's, let's talk. <laughs> You'll be all right on your next trip to the Philippines, mate. <laughs> He was the quintessential interviewer, Parky. He was the one the A-list wanted to sit down with. A beloved fixture on British TV for over 50 years, Sir Michael Parkinson's talk show set a benchmark against which others are still measured. Hi, thank you. <laughs> From John Wayne to Fred Astaire, John Lennon to Madonna. Known to many just as Parky, he helped viewers see the human side to their heroes. There's a gunpoint in there. Sorry. <laughs> From frosty encounters with Muhammad Ali. Oh, no, I'm joking. You're joking, I asked him. <laughs> to flirty conversations with cinematic icons like Lauren Bacall. All the best men are taken, so forget it. <laughs> His enthusiasm infectious. His reactions... I <laughs> While the warmth of his avuncular Yorkshire style stood out, as an interviewer, he came from a place of solid journalistic grounding. The proud son and grandson of miners from Barnsley, he grafted to make a name for himself. Starting out in local newspapers before a move to Granada TV in Manchester, until in the early 70s the BBC came calling. It was the making of him. Instantly, he had the ability to put guests at ease. Instead of showboating, he gave space. Getting the best from those who could be tricky by allowing conversations to breathe. I'm sorry, is this too long, this no, story? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you. You, you know, you know by, when I drop like that, that's, okay. that's the moment. We no, start drooling on your tie. Not <laughs> <laughs> for the different reasons, Madonna. No, but okay. it... <laughs> Of course, it wasn't always smooth sailing. He regretted losing his cool with a somewhat fragile Meg Ryan. Now that you're wary of journalists, I mean, do, does it give you an insight into what they're after? Now that I'm wary of them... Yes, you are wary of journalists. You're wary of me. You're wary of the interview. You don't like being interviewed. You can see it's in the way that you, you sit and the way you are. That's you don't True. like doing it. <laughs> and, of course, some encounters were wilder than others. <laughs> This chat show was revived not once, but twice. After a 16-year break in 1998, returning first to the BBC, age bringing a fatherly warmth. Oh, you sound like my dad, you see. Oh, he's yeah. really off-putting, Carl. I won't look at you. All right. <laughs> uh, I will, actually, because he was a good man. And again in 2007, moving to ITV, the biggest names wanting to be interviewed by the best. In 2008, Sir Michael Parkinson was knighted for his immense contribution to broadcasting. In over 800 episodes, interviewing more than 2,000 of the world's biggest stars, he became a household name in the process. Unashamedly forthright, journalistically sharp, engaging and warm. You, you have such deep blue eyes. Yes, and you have bedroom eyes. <laughs> the proud Barnsley boy will be remembered as one of the finest talk show hosts in the history of British television. Katie Spencer, Sky News.